One thing that becomes clear when you walk around and talk to homeless people is that everyone has a different set of circumstances for winding up homeless. And some are fascinating. Take Coco. He's 67, and even though he was born and raised in Orange County, he describes himself as an old San Francisco hippie. When he was 13, he said he was tired of living with the old man's rules, meaning his father, and hitchhiked up to the Bay Area. It was the early 1960s, and Coco found himself in the middle of America's burgeoning counterculture scene. He survived for years by selling drugs, mainly acid taps, while panhandling and sleeping in Golden Gate Park. Coco eventually met a woman and they moved to the Northwest, where they raised two girls in a house in the woods. Coco's wife was a career woman, while he stayed home to take care of the girls and tend to the family's marijuana farm. Coco and his wife split up and he eventually wound up living on the streets of San Diego. Even though he gets over $1,000 a month in Social Security, he says he can't afford a place to live. Because of his hearing problems, Coco says that other homeless people routinely steal his things as he sleeps. I asked him why he didn't want to move back to the Seattle area to be with his daughters, and he explained he didn't want to burden them with his problems. Plus, the weather's too nice here, he said. 